And my son, Evan Gales, has landau Kleffner syndrome, which is a form of autism, and uh, it has obsessions and seizures, and his obsession has always been the train. He started obsessing with trains at six months old and has loved trains all of his life, and it gets more intense the older he gets. Evan memorizes things easily, and he has a CD of the Polar Express, which is his favorite all-time story, and he listens to it through his headphone, and he just memorizes things easily. It was always our dream to share his love of trains with children, and so we thought this was a good outlet to start sharing this love and information and the heritage that uh, the children have uh, living in Plant City. It's awesome to see him interact with children like that. Evan can't do a lot of things that normal, per se, uh, children can do, but this is one thing that, that he's really good at, and that's why I wanted to pursue this for him, because I know that he has a talent to work with small children. Can everybody say it with me real loud? The kids will be brought over to the Union Station Depot in Plant City and they will see a caboose. They'll get to go on the caboose. Evan will give them a ticket and he will punch their ticket for them. And they'll get to see the engine and the uh, different train signals. They'll learn a little history about Plant City. Uh, they'll see a lot of model trains. They'll uh, see a layout and uh, Mr. Williford will be there to uh, explain some of the equipment to them. Uh, I retired off of CSX in September of 99, 42 years and eight months. I hired out in 1956 as a fireman and worked my way up to engineer. The kids can look at this and see what was back in the 1940s, the 1950s, and even we got the pump cart, the Velocipede. That goes back in the early 1900s, 1905, 1910. They get a good history lesson of what's going on, but also when they look at that caboose out there and see the size of it, it's really a good safety lesson for them just to come up here and look at this railroad equipment, how heavy it is, how large it is, and they can kind of say, well, you know, this is not the thing I need to be playing, making a toy out of. After the field trip, Evan shared with us the piece of advice he gives to everyone he meets. Stop, look, and listen before you start across. Well, as you can see, Evan has a deep passion for trains, telling stories, and interacting with children. He and his mother are putting smiles on kids' faces every day while also educating them about the railroad system. His story inspires others to go out and make a difference. Even the smallest things can make the largest impact. For Focus TV, I'm Victoria Guerin.